happening right now. A crew from the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA, currently taking samples from a humpback whale that washed up on shore. The marine mammal was first spotted off the shores of Point Loma. CW6's Carlos Correa is live at the Silver Strand State Beach, where it ended up. Carlos. Jimonetta, good afternoon. This is what's left of that young whale. Right now, biologists are working hard to figure out exactly what happened to it and how on earth did it end up here on the beach. Marilyn Nieves of San Diego was taking her usual stroll down Silver Strand State Beach when she came across a crowd of people. I'm exercising. I never thought I would come up on something like this working out in the morning. What she saw was a young humpback whale washed ashore. It's a rare sighting that attracted even more people. Something I think is wrong. It's a baby. And so when people say it's a natural death, I don't know how natural, you know, a baby humpback whale is, and, but I think with all the other ones, it makes me concerned. A biologist with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, isn't sure just how the juvenile male humpback whale died. What she does know is he was sighted on Friday, about nine miles offshore in Point Loma, already dead. It's not unusual for us to get humpback whales. These guys uh, have breeding grounds off of Mexico and then migrate uh, up north. And so we typically will get one humpback stranding every year. Members of NOAA Fishery are taking samples of the whale so they can begin to study it. They will see if he had any injuries and will also look at its organs to see what it's been feeding on. See, we're taking some measurements back here. Um, we want to know how long it is. That's how we estimate how old it is. Um, we'll take some samples for genetics so we can look at um, species. Uh, stock structure. Since the whale landed on state property, NOAA says officials with the state are responsible for its remains. Spectators hope to catch a glimpse of it before it's removed. I mean, I studied science, so the science, the scientist in me just is really curious to see, and he's two, so he won't remember it, but it's probably once in a lifetime that you see something up close like this. Back live here where preliminary data shows this whale was about 23 feet long and officials here think it could have weighed more than 2,000 pounds. Reporting live, I'm Carlos Correa, CW6 News.